The day begins slowly in Rojales on the Costa Blanca. It's time for a round of golf or a lazy coffee. This is how life is for the 300,000 British citizens, mostly retired, who have chosen Spain as their home. We've worked all our lives, so we want to um, have fun. In the cafes, people read English papers, news about places that feel distant from where they are. España es el país con la mayor población de británicos de Europa. Aquí en Rojales superan en número a la población local. Dicen que se encuentran como en casa, pero el Brexit ha hecho su vida más complicada. The UK's exit from the European Union has forced many Britons to return to their country every three months. And many who haven't secured permanent residency have sold their homes. A disaster. They had a clue what they were voting for. The July 4th elections could change the political landscape in the UK, whose economy continues to be constrained by the consequences of Brexit. Es curioso que en la campaña electoral el no se habla del Brexit, pero es una especie de elefante en la habitación. Si gana el Partido Laborista, que también están siendo muy prudentes con esta cuestión, eh, bueno, pues seguramente habrá un acercamiento mayor a, a Bruselas y al club y al club comunitario. Even so, most Britons living in Rojales say they won't vote. I don't do politics, you know. It's not worth the hassle. It's not worth the hassle. But for those who wanted to vote, things haven't been easy either. The short notice of this election has prevented them from registering. I have tried to vote, and yet again, because I'm in Spain, it has been very, very complicated. And I have to have a proxy vote, so I have to get someone in the UK to vote for me. But the time has now passed in order for me to get that in place. As the UK prepares to go to the polls in a crucial election, these British citizens don't feel that the results will have any impact on their lives. I would particularly want the government to look at move, freedom of movement, you know, but that's tied up with immigration and, you know, and I think people are getting the wrong end of the stick and they're so hit up with immigration that they can't see beyond, which is why we had Brexit in the first place, really. Whatever the outcome, tomorrow will be another sunny day in southern Spain.